The music on 11, I'm second guessing. Everybody dancing to the gates of heaven. You and me, we were born to be free on that open road, picking up speed. Speed. Okay. All right. Louis, ready? So Louis, you're sitting here. Leo, with Leo, your boy Leo, Reality Tell Your Vision. When I started Reality Tell Your Vision, man, here, do you know what my mission statement is? My mission statement is we provide a platform for those who deserve recognition. Thank you, man. And for me, you deserve recognition because of the type of human being that you are and what you are doing with your artistic talents. You know, I think our purpose in life is finding out right. what we're talented in and trying to serve the world with it and you're doing that with your music thank you man i'm trying yeah. my best um and you know you, you've been on fire lately you know um so you right now as we kind of take a break right we take a little breather deep in deep out how do you feel about where you're at right now in your in your music and what you've been creating lately yeah man i feel really good uh a lot of things have happened in a short amount of time, you know what I mean? And uh, I feel really good. I'm excited to see where things are going. We're having fun. I'm trying to let creativity just flow through me, not letting it be, uh, not being too harsh on it or hard on it, if you will. Like, I just want to enjoy it and be around other creatives and create something special. Let's talk about this Louis Lee project, dude. During COVID time, you and I connected and, you know, I've kind of been there during this process of cultivating this project, right? Now yeah. it's here, now it's out. You know, a lot of people love it. You know, certain songs are doing very well. I had the privilege of doing the Runaway video. Yeah, for thank you, you so much. For you right now, you know, how, how do you feel about the project, you know, now that it's out there and you're kind of being able to enjoy yeah. it now, being on the other end of it? You know. I'm just so proud of like the people around me who've inspired me and like allowed me to be genuine with myself and have fun. And, you know, I lost people during COVID like most of you. And, you know, when I created this record, it was right after Christmas, the holidays. And I, uh, I didn't think about it too much other than I know like people I loved would just really enjoy it. You know, it was like, it would feel good. I put my own twist on it and be a little bit, you know, myself from, you know, Detroit, Michigan, and we have a vibe here too, you know. So with that said, we love country music, we love hip hop music, we love rock and roll music, and shit, I love all music. So Louis Lee was born, you know, and it's it's been a ride ever since, and let's keep it going. Louis Lee, Louis Hensley, Louis Lee. Yeah. It's kind of like your a little alter ego, but it is who you are, Louis. What 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 is what is what do you love about Louis Lee? What is Louis Lee trying to convey? How is Louis Lee trying to inspire the world to be what? Louis Lee is testament that it doesn't have to be. You know, you don't have to have handouts by any means. You don't have to. Uh, I guess just hard work is really what I'm trying to get at. Like hard work and perseverance. If you just feel good about something and it makes you feel good, keep chasing that, right? If it feels good, keep chasing it. And for me, it's always been like, music makes me feel good. I don't I don't put too much like pressure on it. You know, I want us to have fun with it. And if people like it, even better, you know, but I know the people in my heart that like enjoy music that make it with me, like together we like making music, you know? and. We want everybody to be involved with it as much as possible. So I'm just utilizing that, you know, having fun, enjoying it. You know, look at me, I'm wearing sunglasses up in here. I'm crazy, you know, but it's a vibe. I'm having fun. Hey. What uh, project was uh, specifically memorable to you out of the songs, out of the tracks? I'm sure all of them mean a lot to you, but what's something that stick out to your, to your mind that, you know, I guess I guess right off um, Tailgate Blues is that record for me. It's just it's got it all for me. It's got a shout out to my grandfather. I shout out to my friend in like my own way. You know, sorry, just thinking about it. Like you know, we all went through so much, and it's like I don't want to harp on that stuff because I'm a positive person. If people know me, they know that like you know I'm pretty upbeat and just feel good all the time. But with Tailgate Blues, I just let 
I just let it rip and like I started writing the lyrics and I actually shout out to Matthew Frederick Cords who's a writer with that song on there and Dale Low Class uh, you know like writing it with Matt you know and talking about like stuff you know we helped put this these these vibes together and these flows that felt good you know and didn't overthink it you know we're just having fun you know it's good music right but it does mean something to me and it's like you know where I come from you know you're close to your family but you know I feel like there's still a distance with it that like you know because you're constantly hustling you're constantly grinding because it's like we come from not like well to do or anything like that you know so you're just everybody's in that that race you know to try and do better for themselves and their family of course you know but you know you're close but you're always kind of on the move so even though you're close you don't see each other as much maybe or you know and you lose touch with people and you know it's hard you wish there was more time in the day right just to talk to more people to do more stuff with people you know that'd be cool so just do as much as you can <laughs> right shoot old ghosts back and forth with who i want to be today the monster in me is coming out to play deep inside i keep it hideaway hideaway I've been on that kick lately. Hide away. You know? Shoot. We all got issues, guys. We're just out here. We're vibing. And uh, if you find something that makes you feel good, who gives a shit what other people say? It's do you, baby. What song comes to pop your head? Let's get a live performance. What do we got? I mean. <laughs> There's a party around me, and I don't care. I'm in the back of this truck, mad about you, wishing you were here. Music on and living, I'm second guessing. Everybody's dancing to the gates of heaven. You and me, we were born to be free on that open road, picking up speed. Tailgate blue. Chasing yesterday's bad news Until game blues I was thinking about you An empty tank of gas Spinning the wheels Chasing the memories of you Yeah Lewis, what, um, you know, I appreciate you because you always are uh, vulnerable. Um, I try to be vulnerable, but like, am I? I think you are. I think um, so too. But, I think you, so too. but you are also, uh, I think what I admire about musicians and people, you know, like yourself, is that you have a chance to articulate your feelings or at least express or let out your feelings in the music form and i think that's so beautiful you know and as a human experience right like how many of us can do that mm -hmm. so that's what i admire about you you can go through Thanks, some man. tough times you can go through happy times and yeah. you transfer that energy into a song mm -hmm. what like is that something that you're conscious of like is that something that like you realize like that that you have the opportunity to do in this life like is that something that yeah like and value? i value yeah like 100 percent. like i feel like with writing songs and just like expressing yourself in any way or form like whether it's good bad you know i don't really know all the time you know but i know that it's like if it's coming from me at least it's something you know like it's you know i'm just brainstorming here like everyone else and just like want to express myself in ways of words you know and i'm not always the best with them so and that's okay you know but i'm I love writing songs just because it feels good. I love melody. I love, you know, just great, like, you know, melodies through chords and stuff like that. It makes me feel good. And then just like, obviously, if you get that those right rhythms, it's just who doesn't want to dance and jump around and just have fun, you know, and just live your best life. So if it feels good, it feels good. I like to feel good. Right. What I also noticed about you, Lewis, is that you're individually very talented and you can work on your own. You can literally sit in this room mm -hmm. and grind it out yeah. and come out with some amazing art. But you're also a master at collaboration. You know how to put yourself and transform yourself into a team player. And I know in the music 
industry that is required a lot. And I team. know in the industry, it is very... My team, my team, my team, my Talk team. to me a little bit about Shout that. out to Pato Magnetic. Talk to me about that, man. That's a, I, I view that as a form of leadership. Fuck that out. Um, but like, you know, for you... Like Thank you. you do, how do you do that? You know, I realized that like, I have something to give beyond myself with these skills that I've acquired over my life, you know? And it's like, I want to enjoy them, you know? It's like, do I have, like, some type of accolades that where it says you should even trust me with it? No. That's okay. You know, like, if it was about that, like, a lot of us out here, we wouldn't be, like, doing it still. You know, like, if there was some type of pressure where it's like, you have to do it by this time or you have to do it, like, this way, like, well, if that's the case, then you know, then maybe it's just not right for me. You know, I got to feel true to myself and I feel good. I like creating with people. They're awesome. They inspire me in ways too. So it's like with us working together, you know, we bring out the best in each other and who doesn't want that? You know, I try to like get as many creative people together in a room sometimes as I can. And I love it. And it's just, you don't want to have egos about it. You don't want to get like in your way. Like I know I'm a lot to deal with. People deal with me all the time, you know, and I love them for it. Thank you. But at the same time, you know, we all got to appreciate each other's gifts and talents and have fun with it, you know, and leave something behind that we all like are proud of, you know, so. Okay. A couple last couple questions. Okay. Yeah. Um, one, is there something that you want to get off, get, get off of your chest that you were hoping to get off? Oh, right there. what do you mean? I've been asking you questions. Are these good questions? You, yeah. You think? Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like, you know, that it's like Louis Lee's like a project that has given me the opportunity to like explore my like range as a singer and have fun with it. And I grew up on country music, man. Nineties country, outlaw country, Garth Brooks, you know, Tim McGraw, all those guys that were like, you know, like killing it, like bad boys of country. It was fun, you know. Like as a kid, you see them, they're like they're rock stars too. You know, Garth Brooks is a rock star. Shout out. Let me redub that. Shout out to Garth Brooks. He's a rock star, man. Like, watching him, like, fly across the stage on, like, cables. I mean, that's the shit I want to do, too. Like, I love it, you know? But I also love hip-hop music. I love Detroit. I love 808 drums. I love just, you know, hard-hitting claps and snares. You know, I just love the bounce from it. And, uh... You know, as a singer, exploring it and writing some cool lyrics that feel good to me. Like, you know, I love 230. It's so much fun. You know, this bourbon tastes better with a round of you. Feeling so good. You're like a dream come true. Sitting by the phone. I'm waiting for your call. Tell me where to be. We could have a ball. Riding to the sunset. Dancing in the street. <laughs> Moving to the beat. Girl, you drive me crazy. That camouflage bikini. You're everything I need. Hair pulled back, she rocking that real tree. <laughs> Two, 30. And I'm up drinking that same bottle. We were holding on for something that may not mean nothing. Shit. Louis Lee. Louis, lastly, man, yeah. um, for you, I know you're a purpose-driven person. I know that you um, you 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 are amazing at staying in your own lane, being happy for other people. It took a long time to find that. Can I say? Okay. I'll say that. Like, you know, finding your own lane. Like everybody's like, find your own lane. It's like, well, you know what? Maybe I have found my lane. Maybe my lane is experiment with my art and being free to do whatever I want and work with everybody, be myself, create, imagine. You know. Uh, brainstorm all the above, you know, just create something from nothing. Come on. That feels amazing. I want all of you to do it. I don't know. Sorry to cut you off. No. Last question. What advice would you give to anybody right now? Well, who's striving for something, their dreams. My advice right now would be look around you and the closest to around you currently 
those are those are your artists in your life that you need to lift up and by lifting up these other artists and like making them feel good about being creatives out there and whatever their talent might be there's a lot of talents out there but like us as individuals like the advice is like look to those around you and see what they're like outside of like what they do or where they work you know like who they are and like what things that they like to do their talents you know whatever skills they think they can be good at you know and pick them up and by doing that you're picking yourself up from anything you might have going because they're all going to reciprocate it back and that's like something i feel like i could give advice to just people like you know look at look at your circle look around you what do they do what kind of things make them move you know like what is their talents you know and if you can like help them achieve like things within those talents man you're going to get it back in different ways for whatever you got going on it's just there's no way for it not to you know be good to them so i guess the advice is if you're good to those around you and just be a good person just in general and try to offer something to them and like myself like i see other people's talents and i see all these different people that i want to work with and I want to keep working with bigger artists and just like different genres all over the world because I like being a creative in a room that like brings something, you know? So if you're one of those kind of people, my advice is keep doing it. Like keep being that force in this world because it might not be making a big dent yet, but by continuing it, oh, you're going to have an impact that no one can take from you and no one can give you other than yourself. Louis Lee.